I want to show you guys a couple of preferences and system settings that are key when you're working with Pro Tools. So go ahead and open up uh, Pro Tools preferences. Under Display tab, we have Organized Plugin Menu by Category, Manufacturer, Flat List. I like Category and Manufacturer. I think it, it's nice to give you two options to show you which plugin. So, for example, here you have the category, here you have my manufacturer. So it gives you uh, two different ways to look for your plugins. I like having that option. If you wanted your region color to, to match your track color, default region color coding, you would click track color. You notice your regions will change color with whatever you make your track. Under the operation tab, Latch record enable buttons. If we take this off, well, you know, cancel. Leave. Let's leave it on. Cancel. I'm able to record multiple tracks at once. But if I'm sometimes in a vocal session, I don't want this to happen because I don't want to be down recording a double, not paying attention, and recording still on my lead track, recording over something, possibly running into issues. So I like to keep latch record enable buttons unchecked and also automatically create new playlists while loop recording i always like to leave this checked for the loop recording whenever i start loop recording i want this checked all right so now we're going to jump over to setup let's go down to playback engine if you have your buffer size basically 512 and up definitely in the, the 1000 uh, 24 and the 2000 one here. The person recording is going to be talking into the mic and their voice is going to be coming back late and there's no way they're going to be able to record that way. So if you've ever been talking into the mic and your voice is coming back too late and it's not because of plug-in latency, this is your culprit right here. We also have uh, actually disk allocation. If you ever run into issues with saving audio files, and sometimes Pro Tools will get a little funky when you're moving sessions from an external hard drive to internal hard drives, your Mac HD, I recommend always trying to keep everything on an external. So you're able to could highlight everything. Say, say this all said Mac HD. You're able to highlight it, click, and you can change where you want all the disk allocation to go. I'm going to my external hard drive, but this is just, uh, I wanted you just to be aware of why audio files go missing. This is where you can stop that from happening. Another thing on the system preferences in the regular Mac, so under the Apple here, system preferences, definitely need to make sure this one is unchecked. So spotlight, your magnifying glass up here. You need to make sure these are both unchecked. Command space, that is the hotkey to record in Pro Tools. So every time you go to record, if this is checked, it's just going to keep pulling up the spotlight search menu. One other key preference that you need to make sure you have set, especially if you're using an external hard drive to record, which I always recommend, is going to be under Workspace, which is here under uh, Window, Workspace or option semicolon and your hard drives here you might see this message come up sometimes when you're trying to record and forever for whatever reason sometimes the mode will change on your drive uh, I'm not sure why occasionally you'll see a hard drive change from record mode to playback to transfer only mode so we're gonna make sure our A is for audio make sure this is record and even though I'm not doing video I have it in record ready as well. So those are the basic preferences and system settings that you need to be aware of before you start recording and working in Pro Tools. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Feel free to leave us a comment below and check out the rest of the videos we have. Thanks for watching.